Hi. After reviewing the first part of the server manual, you're ready to learn the basic mechanics of taking care of your guests. We've laid them out in seven points. Your trainer will give you the specifics for your restaurant, but it's up to you to add the personality and friendly atmosphere for your guests. Before you go out on your own, it's important that you know the Harrigan's way. The steps of service are broken down as follows. Point one, immediate greet. Point two, taking the drink order. Point three, taking the food order. Point four, serving the food. Point five, first call back. Point six, pre-bus and presenting the check. Point seven, busing and setting tables. The cornerstone of our great service begins with an immediate greeting of new tables. Our goal is to greet each new table within one minute. Get on them, say hi, welcome them to our store. Always check your station so that you see when you're seated. It's simple, just be cheerful, smile, and don't be rude or cute. Always let the guests know your name. Hi, I'm Bob. Simple, and ask them if they've been to Harrigan's before. In addition, explain our specialties. Feel free to personalize this discussion with your own personal favorites. When describing food items though, be positive. Don't cloud it with your own personal likes and dislikes, like zucchini, bleh. When writing tickets, use pivot points. When delivering the food, use pivot points. So we'll be using pivot points when writing tickets and delivering food. And ask your guests if they'd like one ticket or separate checks, because this will make things much less confusing later on. Trust me. While at your table, ask the guests what they'd like to drink. During this initial greeting, you can use your suggestive selling skills. Use descriptive language such as ice cold, crisp, frosted, refreshing, spicy, or hand breaded. Be sure to mention our imported or domestic beers. Cool, thanks. Also a sampling of our non-alcoholic items, such as lemonade, sodas, iced tea, coffee, that sort of thing. Always repeat the order to avoid mistakes. Always repeat the order to avoid mistakes. You get the idea. Now be aware of the tables on your way back to the kitchen. If you see a table that hasn't been greeted, please take care of that greeting. Remember, one minute. Ask them their drink order, serve them their drinks, then you can find the appropriate server to hand the ticket to. Ask which of your guests would like to start off with some hand-breaded zucchini chips or sizzling mushrooms as an appetizer. Oh, yes. Oh. Always give a general menu presentation and tell your guests about the soup of the day and give a description. At lunchtime, let your guests know that we have a lunch menu. Hello. And suggest a couple of your favorite entrees. At dinner, Tell your guests about one of our great menu items. See the suggested dinner presentation in your server manual. Now it's not necessary to repeat the presentation exactly as written. We just want you to use your own words and personality. The description needs to be accurate and you are required to present one of the five entrees to each table at dinner. At brunch, let your guests know that they can order off the brunch or regular menu, either one and ask your guests if they are ready to order or if they need more time. You don't want to come off too pushy or rushed. Hey, now let's meet Sean Merrick. He's of our Albuquerque Harrigans. Sean is very articulate and very professional, and Sean takes his job very seriously. Yet he has a great sense of humor, and he always has a good time working at Harrigans. Best of all, he makes a lot of money. Sean's going to show us points one and two of great service. And for demonstration purposes, he'll do all five of the entree presentations so you can get a better idea. So you better pay attention. Hi folks, welcome to Harrigan's. How are we doing today? Not too bad, how are you doing? Doing well. My name's Sean. I'll be your server today. Is this your first visit to Harrigan's? Yes, it is. Well, let me tell you a little bit about our restaurant concept. We do have a teamwork concept here. Although I'm your primary waiter, others will be taking care of you, such as bringing your hot food out when, when it comes up, as well as, as taking care of drinks that may need to be refilled. Shall I start you off with maybe a Chardonnay or a couple Samuel Adams this afternoon? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Two Samuel Adams? Chardonnay. Chardonnay? Chardonnay? Two Chardonnays? How about some fried zucchini or maybe some sizzling mushrooms this afternoon? Mushrooms. Great. We also have our mesquite smoked uh, baby back ribs 
and our mesquite smoke prime rib as well. We own our own mesquite smoke house and we mesquite smoke our prime rib all day as well as the baby back ribs. I'll work on that, I'll come back. Our soup today is prime rib and New England style clam chowder. I'll be right back with those drinks. Folks, let me tell you about one of our house specialties. As I said before, we have our own mesquite smoke house in the back. We mesquite smoke all of our prime rib all day, cook it to your desired temperature. It's served with soup or salad. Again, our, our soup is prime rib or New England salad clam chowder or a Caesar salad, greenhouse salad with your favorite dressing. Also accompanied is a baked potato, New Orleans potato casserole or fries. Ladled over that is our homemade au jus sauce and our tangy horseradish sauce with that. We also have our baby back ribs, which are slow, slow smoked for eight hours and cooked with our tangy barbecue sauce. Served with coleslaw and baked beans, comes in a full rack or a half rack. Folks, let me tell you about one of our specialty steaks. It is a Santa Fe cut, eight ounce or 12 ounce. Served with soup or salad, we do have prime rib soup and New England salad clam chowder. If you prefer, we have a Caesar salad or a greenhouse salad with your favorite dressing. Accompanied with that is a baked potato, New Orleans potato casserole, or fries. Folks, let me tell you about one of our house specialties. We do have hickory chops. Cooked on the hickory grill, basted with our tangy barbecue sauce, comes with, with a cinnamon applesauce, and our famous New Orleans potato casserole. Folks, let me tell you about a, one of our house specialties. We do have an Atlantic salmon. It's a very good filet. It's, it's cooked uh, over our, our hickory grills, served with New Orleans potato casserole and sugar snap peas. Point three is taking the food order. Take ladies' orders first, if possible. Take the order and repeat it back to avoid mistakes. Here we go again. Take the order and repeat it back to avoid mistakes. I think you got it this time. Always mention to your guests the choice of accompaniments that come with the entrees. For example, do they have a choice of soup or salad? If a guest orders a salad, always list the dressings that we carry. If a guest orders a steak, Always ask them how they would like it prepared. This is not rocket science. Now let's watch Sean as he takes the order at his table. Here are those wines and beers. Chardonnay, ma'am. Chardonnay as well. A couple Samuel Adams. Frisbee. I'll move that out of the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Sizzling mushroom should be out shortly, folks. Any other decisions so far? Ready to go? Ladies? Um, I'll take the Atlantic salmon. And again, that salmon is served with our sugar snap peas and New Orleans potato casserole, if that's okay. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that for you. Yes, ma'am. I think I'm going to have the Santa Fe cut. Would that be the 8 or 12 ounce this evening? Uh, let's make it the 12 ounce. The 12 ounce. And how would you like that prepared? Medium well. Now, our medium well is going to be a nice, fine line pink center, if that's okay. That's perfect. And again, that's served with our prime rib soup, New England salad, clam chowder, Caesar salad, greenhouse salad. Oh, uh, Caesar. Caesar salad. Baked potato, New Orleans potato casserole. Uh, I'll take baked potato. Baked potato. And the toppings we offer are butter, sour cream, cheese, chives, bacon. Just butter. Just butter. Just butter. Gentlemen. Go ahead. I'll have the pork chops, please. Is that the mom's pork chops or the hickory pork chops? Um, what is the difference on those two? The hickory pork chops are grilled. Basted with our tangy barbecue sauce, served with our New Orleans potato casserole, and our uh, cinnamon applesauce. The mom's pork chops are breaded and fried, served with buttered corn and New Orleans potato casserole. You know the mom's? The mom's Sir? I'll take the backyard burger. And how would you like that patty cooked this afternoon? Uh, medium, please. Now our medium is going to be a hot pink center, if that's okay. That'll be perfect. And then served with fries. I'm going to go back and work on a Caesar salad. Would anybody else care for a salad as well? No, thank you. We'll get that going for you folks. Let me repeat that order to you one more time, make sure we got it all correct. Ma'am, you're going for the Atlantic salmon with the sugar snap peas and New Orleans potato casserole. And the Santa Fe cut, 12 ounce, cooked medium well, served with Caesar salad and a baked potato with butter. Mom's pork chops for you, sir. Please. And the backyard burger, medium well. Okay. Fries. We'll get that going for you folks. Again, the mushrooms will be right out. My name's Sean, give me a holler. Good evening. Thank, Thank you. you. Did you notice how Sean repeated the order for accuracy? Good, because that's important. Now it's time to take bread to the table. Point four, serving and delivering the food. When an order's ready, take it directly to the guest while it's hot, because hot food is your first priority. The expediter will complete the plate, then call for a runner. If you're in the kitchen, repeat the table number to confirm that you will deliver the food. That's it. Let's watch Sean deliver some food to his table. Hey folks, here's these sizzling mushrooms we're talking about. Be careful, that's hot. Don't go kissing plates today. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, man. 
appetizer plates for you. Folks, what do you see that we can get for you? Enjoy. Oh, those weren't good. Let me get this out of the way for you. Were those good mushrooms? They're one of Harrigan's favorite. They're good. They really are. Sit up all night making that myself for you. And I'm getting your Caesar salad right away for you. Do you know okay on Chardonnays and Samuel Adams? Ma'am, here's that Caesar salad. How about some freshly ground pepper on that? We'll do that. That'll work right there. Atlantic salmon for you, ma'am. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy. Mm, that looks pretty good. Thanks, Paul. Folks, here's the rest of that order. Man, look at that How's that Atlantic salmon look to you? Great. Santa Fe 12 ounce baked potato with butter. Ooh, hot plate. Your mom's pork chop plate is extremely hot. Okay. And backyard burger. You're in charge of the ketchup. Folks, what do you see that I might be able to get for you? I'll let you all bite into it. I'll come back in a couple minutes, make sure everything's cooked properly for you. Enjoy dinner. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you notice that the food was served using pivot points? Cool. Point five is the first callback. Your first callback to the table should be within two or three minutes of the food being delivered. This ensures that the guests are happy with the food and have everything that they need. That's all. Never interrupt a conversation. Smile. If your guests have a complaint, take care of it immediately. No problem. Refill beverages. Hey, how you doing on breads and rolls? Do not over service your tables. Too much service is just as bad as not enough service. Think a little, and always use your eye contact to determine the guest's needs. Remember, your guests know that you are there. They'll ask you if they need anything, and help other servers with their tables. It's a team effort. Hey, let's watch Sean as he covers point five with his table. Here he comes now. Here he comes. Oh, okay. Hi folks, how are we doing this evening? Everything's okay? Mine's good. I think Chris Yeah, my, mine's a little bit undercooked, just a little bit. Let me take care of that right away for you. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh. I understood we undercooked that just a little bit the first time. That looks great, ma'am. Point six is pre-bus and presenting the check. Ask if you can remove the plates. Remove roll baskets, condiments, ketchup, that sort of thing. Leave only teaspoons and glasses at the end of the meal. Suggest dessert. Again, using the yes, yes questions. Uh, can I bring you the black magic cake or the iron skillet pie for dessert? Well, why? Yes, you can. Thank you. Cool. And remember to suggest coffee drinks, cappuccino, espresso. This is a half-calf decaf with a twist. Now Sean will show us this part of step six. Can I take this out of the way for you, ladies? Are you also done? Yeah. Now we do have black magic cake and iron skillet pie to get you going, or maybe some cappuccino or an espresso to top it all off with. There's no way I can show no anything dessert. else in me. Let's steal this out of the way for you real quick. Thank you. You're welcome. Folks, let me set this tray down and I'll get that checked to you right away. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Now it's time to present the check. Every check must have thank you, your name, and the total circled and written clearly on both sides before being presented to the guest. Thanks. <laughs> Great. In this day and age, it's best to place the check in the center of the table. Do not assume that the male will be paying the bill. And make sure your guests are aware that you are presenting the check, but don't interrupt their conversation to do so. When picking up money for a payout, always tell the guest that you will be right back with their change. Never ask if they need change, that's rude. And when delivering the change or credit card vouchers, politely thank your guest, using their name off the credit card if possible, and tell them that you've had a great time serving them. And always return the guest change or voucher as quickly as possible. I got it. Folks, here's that check. I'm your cashier as well as your waiter. I'll take care of this for you when you're ready. No rush. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Folks, I'll be right back with that change. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's that change, folks. We right. appreciate you choosing Harrigan's, and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Point seven, busing and setting tables. 
As a server, you will be asked to perform support shifts such as XP, float, and busing. The most important thing to remember in busing and setting tables is hustle. Get on it. We want you to clear those tables as quickly as possible. You are responsible for clearing tables in your section and helping other servers with their tables. Speed is important. Our goal is one minute, but quality should never be compromised. Please refer to the server manual for a complete review of bussing and setting tables. But I think you get it. We make no money on an unbus table. Seven points of great service. Point one, immediate greet. Point two, taking the drink order. Point three, taking the food order. Point four, serving the food. Point five, first callback. Point six, pre-bus and presenting the check. Point seven, busing and setting tables. Remember to add your own personality and friendliness to these points of service. We want you to paint a picture of the food for the guests so they begin to imagine smelling the food before it even gets to the table. This will enhance their overall dining experience here at Harrigan's and a little bit more money in your pocket too because we want you to succeed and have a great time at Harrigan's. Thanks for listening and good luck. <laughs>